South Carolina. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Because I come and hear Jesus speak for himself. I am saved not by what you said, but by what Jesus said unto me. Then I encourage you. Draw your husband together, have your children or grandchildren, and read the Bible. I promise you, it will make a difference in your I pray that the Lord will go in with you, He will cover you, He will bring revelation unto you as you read the Bible each day. And I believe that there will be a change in your life. And as I believe now, I pray God Almighty that when you read the Bible and gather your family together, it will be a success in growth, in believing in God, that God is coming back to word that ever takes his heart that never changed. Every day is just tried and tried and tried and tried. And every day is not a It's a great thing, but it never changed. It never changes. What it says from a thousand years ago, it never changes. It never tried to recognition well, itself or anything. So why are you crazy today? You should have children. They ain't going nowhere. The underworld, universal. So we are going to go the same world. We should a nation ago, the language of going is the same word. So encourage you to think of that brother. Just to read the word and pray. Anything the word says, believe it. And, and say, God, I want to I want to prove you. And step by step, you'll grow like a tree in Christ Jesus. And you'll be like a, a tree planted by a river of water. And your family. And not just this present family, but family from you. The Lord said He will bless you and your generation, five generations ahead. And if five generations is blessed, five more generations is going to be blessed. And if five more generations is blessed, five more generations in. Because His word, none of His word, anything the Bible says, it never changed. And all of it. The, 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 the littlest word in the, in the Bible means something and it has to accomplish something. And make the word accomplish something in your life. And the only way to do that is to sow it inside of you every day. And uh, I encourage you to go online and look on some prophecies and look on some messages. It's, it's, a, it's a, a nice place where souls can be seen. And when you see souls here, God will bring them in.